Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, we are here for Game 7 of the NHL on EA Sports. Son of Beast here. And this time, this calls for win to get to the second round, as both teams, Bolts and Rangers, played hard so long that they haven't couldn't make the win right in between of those two. It was barely even right in between of those two. First was the New York Rangers that won in Game 1, but then it changes back to over in Game 2, as Tampa Bay beats in overtime, beating over the Sea Borsha Circuit. Then the third game at Tampa Bay, New York Rangers found themselves to have a, a go ahead chance, and they have that win 2 over 1. Then, game 4, the Bolts come in to tie this series. This was an unbelievable moment, but you have never seen how this goes. Then the fifth game was the New York Rangers back at the Garden. But the Bolts took it over. They had no idea how did they ever do that like that. And then the sixth game, the Rangers are making their way and they are calling, this should be it. We have our own now and let's see what they can do. But at that moment, this is where it ends here in first round. Will the Rangers survive the first round to play against the Kings? Or will the Tampa Bay Bolts destroy the New York Rangers in the first round and go on in Carolina to face against the Hurricanes. Let's find out who can take it here. Now the next commentary support I have here is Terry Crews and he is also with the other commentators of the crew. With Roy Crews and finally the, the, uh, the third commentary is Ballpoint Pen. Venice Center Ice all goes for one. It's what I can just say. You've got to give it all. This will be Tyler Beast. I'll be back with the Post Game Show. And I'll be in, in between the intermissions. Right in between, just in case. But we'll find out who wins this game. Alright, guys. It's all yours. Let the death matchups begin. Let's roll out to the Garden and New York. Garden. Rangers and the Bolts ready for the sudden death matchup. Off we go. Terry Cruz standing by and I'm also here with Roy Cruz in ballpoint pen. This is NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Starting off for New York Rangers is Mika Sabanja. Rangers will take the puck over and now find a giggle. Hey, all right toward the right wing. Start things over to make that one strong and down. Adam Fox with a buck, and now he has it in the wing. Finds Kreider. Shots blocked. Kucherov takes a buck steal, and now Hedman with the puck. Waits his toward over, now finding again to ready it. Again to point. Point's got the puck, and now Fox loses the puck control. A Slingrin will battle along with a loose puck. Kreider tries to keep the puck out of here. Tampa Bay back in the offense, and now finds Kucherov. Lindgren's got that puck. Finds Fox. Looks it over again to Kreider. Kreider making his way over. On the pass to Fox. Looks it again to Trocek. Trocek. To Kako. Big on a save and bound by Vasilevsky. Miller. Trying to put a rebound as another save picked up by the goaltender. Fox to Miller. And it goes over to Fletcher and it's off the pad and now back to Kako. Here's Fox. We'll see it again to Miller. Miller lost that puck. Brandon Points got that puck here right in the Vemma Bay zone with the big hit. Now battling in the center ice. And now it's picked up by Sherry. Scooped up along the board and now he gets it off to Paul. Nick Paul a 2 one opportunity. Shoots for it, he goes down. And now Miller will find it again to Lafreniere. Here's Strojek. 
trying to hold on. He finds Struba. In the middle! Good poke stop here by Veselevsky. You know, Veselevsky has gone really well. Trying to keep that one in there on the great sign. You know, a sign of danger. It has to be what they've taken over it, and they really are impressing the sights. They're trying to make this with a lot of the harder strengths. They are doing really well. Got to get that one in there close by. The stop puts up by Sisterkin. Sorelli shot. This one's saved off again. Shirley shot. Blocked up. You know, this is really wild to have they did. You know what I'm in that best matchup? I think they're ready to see what they can do from game number three to four. And I'm thinking this one's a little bit of a tight angle that they have been playing it going back and forth. One and one, two and two, three and three, and this one goes in. Veselevsky has the controlsiveness on the puck and the racing inbound with his better technique of his goaltender reaction. He's making this one a lot of a clearer mind, but we'll have to find out if Andre Veselevsky has controlsiveness to have that one racing inbound. The game seven is a do or die moment, so he has to find a way if he gets it. Gustav said shot, it's been saved up by the goaltender. Now Sorelli, have to try to find another way to get through it. And he scores! Sir Riley start things off. A 1 0 lead for the Garden. Now look at the way it's hustling. You know that? That's what Sir Riley has been taking over it and then take the inbound, trying to stop at Sisterkin. But this was nothing but the had to call for it. And the bigger problem to this point has to be a little hard to, and aggressive to have that one coming in by. They start things up here as the Tampa Bay Bolts have a one nothing lead over the Rangers. And now you see Han, he has that puck, and he now finds Chappie. Chappie trying to get the puck recovery, and now he rolls it again to Jimmy BZ. BZ kicks the puck out in the Rangers zone. Loose up since, got it over now, finding it over again. Chase a spill hit. No penalty regaining on here, and there's the penalty call. They're going to get their first power play for the Rangers. Well, this is what the problem is. Furman's have to get that puck in there. But he had a problem right now. He's just trying to go back it up. But that didn't really happen. That change is over. Doesn't work really well. Adam Fox has to take the tape zone ability. This great pass is taking it over and right in between of us too. He finds a great open room and he's finding a, a better technique in this better transition. I'll find out if he has a power play in it to keep it right in between. There's Adam Fox with the puck. Now their team is in the Tampa Bay Bolt zone. Trojan Sharky scores! Ties us up in a 1-1 of the game. It's a power play goal. Now that's when it all starts off. Vincent Trojan with a great goal. That takes it in there with a great start. Now watch that hustling over here. You see Tristan Trocek? That made it a little great easier to put the pass, and that's how you give it off to Trocek easily. And this one just beats right over the goaltender. Excellent move to make that hit right in. The Rangers and the Bolts are tied up by one. An early start in the first period, passing them nearing the 15 minute mark. And now, Ryan has that puck. Right toward the right wing. Righty is trying to give it over the point. Shoots it. Left save by Sisterkin. Sisterkin tries to hold things up here as right now with only 15.09 to go in the first period. Now here's the call for Mika Zibanejad. Zibanejad has a lot of his better uh, racing in between the offense and defense. His better technique is called magnetic. When he has that one fuck in there, he can do relentless many ways and he has that when you're covering it now. He's finding a good rhythm, and I'll find out if Mika Zibanejad has one of his magnetic ability to have that blade or stick on blade in between. Zibanejad wins the faceoff as Lindgren will now have it over to get me to Zibanejad. Right towards again to Kapokako. Kapokako right toward the right wing. Looks it over to Kreider. This one gets pushed out as Lindgren gets back to Kako. Shoots it wide. Now finds Fox. Looks over again to Kreider. Kreider to Kako shoots and Saint puts up by Veselevsky. 14.30 to go in the first period. He now finds point again to Kudrov. Kudrov on a one on one. Point shoots. He scores. This one carries it over just like it happened in game five.
the better of this one here for Kucherov. He has that great take-to-take -take zone. Finds a good movement room to bring in point. But that wasn't really it. He had a little of a great chance. Good pass off. And then that goal sniped it. The Rangers cutting it down and trailing by one as the Tampa Bay Bolts are up in front. Now the wing will be in as the Hans got that puck. Leon gives it to Sam Coates. Shoots wide. Off the deflection is now Rempe. Over to Young to Fox, and now it's Goodrow with the puck. Right to the left wing, trying to hit it off. Vesilevsky makes a save. 14 minutes to go, and he now finds Paul. Loses that one as Fox gives it over to Young to Rempe. Rempe tries to fire the puck out of here, and right toward the net. Here's the Vaughn, he will have it over again, trying to pass it off. Ball. Loses the puck in range. Can't hold on to it as Edstrom will have it again to Fox. Fox gets wiped off. Dion's got it now as the Lightning are bringing it in the group. Good draw battles for the puck. Now back in the boat territory. Into the wing. Tries to go for a backhander. Trying to trick him up as Lafayette has it. And Bezilevsky makes a save. Setting now, ready for the face-off. Still, still a 2-1 game as Tampa Bay are up by front. Now here's the win as Cernax has got that puck. Over it again to Chappie. Chappie right toward the middle. He gets wiped down as Trubo will have it. Here's Panarin. Panarin shoots and safe, puts it up here by Vizilevsky. For two, then take it in here. That one stayed out. For another tuck. This one's stopped again by Vesilevsky. You know how the hard thing is now. You know Vesilevsky was really trying to improve it. This one is really going to stay all of it at a chance. If this wasn't really a, a good way, that is happening with Vesilevsky. Hey, yeah, that was an all-time effort. Had to do it one by one. Yes, it's definitely what Vesilevsky is. I mean, how can he ever do that? That's an excellent save that you got to go with. Now they're ready for the face-off as the full pressure's coming on for the New York Rangers. And the win will put it up for the New York Rangers. Battle for it, and Chappie will have it cleared out. He's looking to the end for another goal. Big save on the pack by Shesterkin. Almost would have been tipped in there, but not always so good when you get there at the right time. As for the head coach, Peter Leviet is your new head coach for the New York Rangers after the other coach has been suspended, and now with his new contract already, Peter Latria has made his way, and he is definitely was assumed to be one of his professional ice hockey coach and a former player. He's ever to play it on one of his better games, and he has done it. Originally undrafted by the team in the NHL, he has played total of 12 games with the Rangers in the 1988 and 89 season. Following with his retirement and the active play, as Laviette also served as head coach. For the New York Islanders, Carolina Hurricanes, Philadelphia Flyers, National Predators, Washington Capitals, and now he is with the New York Rangers. He's quite to be happy right now as Peter Laviette has been really trying to keep it all time short. It's keeping it good and sweet as he played that one here for his better uh, playing, head, uh, playing former player, but now he's ready for his next goal. He wants to become a head coach. Save puts up by Vesilevsky. It's excellent now. I mean, he's trying to defend it. Unbelievable moment he has been trying to get over. It's been a tension reaction. Right in point now finds Sikhan. Pass broke ahead as Kujarov rebounds the puck. And Sikhan now finds point, shoots it, and Save puts up by the circuit. Cryer trying to hold it out. Now here's Gustafsson. Now gets to Kako. On his way down, right toward the center. Can't hold on with the puck. Perfect has got the puck. As right now, we are making our way to the mid-date market of periods. Point shot. Save puts up by Shusterkin. Hagel now playing to get to Perfect. And here's Hagel. Hagel went one down. Here's Devon. Shoots. Blocked it up here in play, trying to give it again to Perfect. After Devon shoots it. Big save and a play. New York Rangers back in the offensive zone. And he now finds Lee Grant. Here's a take here for Lindgren, and he now has it over it. Shoots it, and safe puts it in by Lindgren. Excuse me for the correction. Panarin, no pass play. As he broke it up to play, Lafriere, big save by Vesilevsky. 
It's just what happens now for Veselovsky. Getting a hard one is not really what you take, but just keep in mind of it. Gotta make sure you have it in there with a better chance. Two times stop fade by, by Shostakin, as Hagel bound for the loose puck, and Trojak trying to hold on. Back to Fox with nine minutes going by in the first period. Tries to hold it on. And now gives Steve Hahn. Right toward the right wing. Now gives it again to Stamkos. Oh, there's no penalty call in New York Rangers. That must have been a clean hit. Well, there's something happening now. If you got that clean hit, you, you know you got lucky. But if there's a dirty play, you are lucky for sure. That one is going to be a close call for the New York Rangers as they are going to get a power play for the Tampa Bay. But they say it's not. They just have to just leave it out of here for sure. I mean, they got to get that one out right away. And now back to Ginny VT with a new line change. He finds Bernsinski. Suits it and saved by Vasilevsky. Stop the puck with only 8.04 to go in the first period. Here's a look for in between Fox and Vasilevsky. Adam Fox has a tape to tape zone ability. He has a looking great passing percentages. He's really doing really well on his dominating effort. Andre Vasilevsky has a control as he is trying to make his way through with a better reaction of the saving and the time. Everything is coming in here great, but it's all for what Vasilevsky has done to make his accomplishment. After our last season with the win against the Maple Leafs in the game, they're trying to see if they can get that one back to go with another win and move on to the next round. There's a probability chance here. I will try to find out if they will have it in there for another good changeoff right in between those two. Back to you, Gary. Here's Edmund. Finds Sorelli. Now faces over again to Isabel. Isabel, the very game is Sorelli. Moves it around. Oh, big save here by the circuit. Keandre Miller will take the back away and now finds Kudrow. Kudrow got swiped up a bit. And now here's Chappie. Over it has to Edmund. This one's not a great play. And this one goes right near that. And now finds Chappie. Over an open play. Broken it up. Isabel. And a penalty call. Keandre Miller's in the penalty box of a two-minute trip in, and he'll get the first power play for the Tampa Bay Bolts. Not always easy enough when you always got to take a look at it and you got to play it. You have to make sure that one is in there. But anyways, they are just trying to make that Keandre Miller want to block it, but that was too late because he had tripped it over. Braden Point has one of his close quarters in this game. Has a lot of him to make some more rooms, and he can, he can try to fight his way through. Beating a goaltender, and he will have to see if the power play works for him. Kreider lifts the puck out of here, and now he finds Petman. On the other side, finally Kucherov. Kucherov finds Point. Point in the back end! Big save by Shusterkin! What an easy call this is, and now you just gotta live it off to be. Now, I love Shusterkin with the reaction. That big save is just putting it right in between. You're never going to lose your time, but that is what you do to try to go with a quick reaction and a big save for an excellent mate. Steven Stamkos is one of his one T motion. He's ultimately one of his better on techniques if he has that one-time goal effort, as the captain might be putting it in if he has a better chance. He scores! Victor Bedman has a C9, and now they have their power play goal advantage. It's now a 3-1 game. All right, there's a bigger chance over here, and that deflection has been putting it in there. That C9 has been putting great for Victor Redman. Had that one in there, what a rocket. The Bolts are up by extension, 3-1, over the New York Rangers. They're trying to find a way if they can get the closing the gap in before the first period expires. And now Nick Paul will win the face off, and now Redius will have that puck in the right to side. And Sherry back to Paul, shoots, save, puts up, by the circuit. And Fox. Back the airway, trying to find an open room again. Back with the Panera, shoots a club saved by Zelensky. Evan now finds it again to Sherry. 6 12 left to do in the first period, and he will try to pick his way up. Out of the back of block with Stockholm, and it's over for the net and right toward the wall. Fox trying to get it over this, and now find Lafanier. He finds Lindgren right towards the right wing, and now with the pass, it's broken up. Here's Lindgren, finds it over to again to Trocek. Trocek trying to hold it in there. Buck is still alive. Lafreniere over again, shoots and save, puts up by Veselevsky. 
right to a near to net, and Reddy is battling for the puck away. Lightning back in the offense with 5.30 to go in the first period as it's a mound with the puck. Over and out of the Chaffee. Denies the shot as the circuit holds a save. And now they're ready for the faceoff. The Rangers wins the faceoff as now Kreider will have it in there. Cutting it down, trying to look at some open room. Shoots and saved by Veselevsky. They're in a five minute mark in the first period. Three ones to score. And now for a chat for John Cooper. He's the, he's the head coach for the Tampa Bay Lightnings. On the other side, a Canadian-American professional ice hockey coach now has their brain in there with a lot of time and effort. You know, one of the better uh, of Jonathan Cooper, he had made this one a lot of great chances here. And I have a lot of them to have a go at it and try to figure out what John Cooper has done. The early life of his career has been definitely coaching for a bigger team after playing with uh, coaching with his junior teams and a pair with Lansing's Catholic High School. And it's definitely one of his delighting teams in his first region of the hockey championship since 25 years. And now, for his new moment, he has to bring himself and he wants to get into his head coach and signing a contract. He was an assistant and during a 2001 and 2002 season, Cooper was the head coach, he definitely had it all. The Cunha Coach Office is one of the tape to tape zone abilities. He's finding a right look of his better techniques in there, and he's trying to see what he can do if you have that one for his next generation. I'll find out if the Cunha Coach Office has an in there. Back to you, Roy. Okay, thank you so much. And like I just said here before, like the junior team for the coaching of what it goes with, that is Cooper. The better way to have his turn in the 2001 2 season. He was now a head coach with the Metro Jets in the North American Hockey League and it led to the Jets, but this time, it has to be the Silver Cup. And then in 2003, it was the Cooper that returned it. He's definitely got like, all of it down. He pushed the circuit as one of his butterfly effect, he has with all of it in range. Has to take all of his better at technique and the better at wild saves of this game. The butterfly effect is grateful and helpful to use it for him right on his bet when his currency have it in between the goaltenders and between the Veselevsky and uh, Igor Shosturkin. I'll find out if Igor Shosturkin has a wild save of his night. Back to you. He's better to take the air about this, but Cooper is really trying to have it all of them. He might be seeing it what he can do if he has more down. Oh, La Pinier! Will he get it? No! That would stay out of here! What an excellent save by Veselevsky! Oh! Ring the goalposts! And he will stop the play with under three minutes to go. What an excellent takeover here. That one is close enough. Laughing there on an unbelievable breakaway chain? That is like, uh, uh, uh. How do you save that off early, Veselinski? What an excellent take. Victor Hedman is one of his stick him up ability. He has one of his better defensive players in this game. Has been turned to be one of the better techniques in here. Sometimes he can body check, sometimes he can definitely make some poke checks. And sometimes he can make some stick lifts right in between the back check or four check. I'll find out if Victor Hedman has a one of his better defensive effort to smack him down. It's relentless, but don't get pressure on. Now Cooley will have it over again with a shot. Locked it up as Adam Fox is trying to bring it over. Gorzinski now finds it over again to Fox. Fox, right toward BZ. BZ holds it on with the puck, and now Kucherov has it with 2.15 left to go. Over on the other hand, shoots it, and St. by Shusterkin. 2.08 to go in the first period, and you're looking for the other side of the game. The Game 7 on the West Coast is happening. It's the Golden Knights facing against the Oilers. That will be their next game underway at 9.30 p.m. That will be on the other side to have another look for another game in between. And this is where we now responded their seventh game of the season for the Edmonton Oilers. We're about to find out if they win or not. You know, I was really certain of. They're going to get this one here. Bang down. Hey, man down. Got to take it over. Got to see what he can do if, they, if the Edmonton Oilers can make a win. Connor McDavid's doing really well. He's a good player. I think the captain is going to deliver it all. Mm, I don't say about you there, boy. But I am definitely going to take it over.
I'm going to make that one predictable, and this is, might be my time to choose for the Knights. Jonathan Munchison is doing really well, and Jack I, uh, Jack Eichel, he's definitely trying to make sure he gets it in here. But I'll see what he does at the map. Okay, it's a probable matchup out there. We'll find out who goes in. Big saving in play by Shisirke. Back to Cryer. Final minute remaining in the first period as they're trying to get a goal for the New York Rangers. The line of net is Kreiner. He's the batter jack, saved off by Veselevsky. Now you will have to get some time to get some rest, and now is ready for the faceoff. The win puts in for the Rangers. Here's Miller. Fast broken up as Stamkos will have that puck taken over. On his way down, crushes off to the board. Abel Copper now finds the bandage head already getting a Kreider. Kreider making his way across. Randy is with the puck now finding the other way again to Paul. Paul right to the right wing. And he stepped over and Miller will have it again to Abel Copper. 13 seconds remaining in the first period. Tries to get a shot with a saved out by Shesterkin. Miller again to Truba. Time takes down. Kako clears the puck and I'll end the first period. Tampa Bay up by two. Three wins to score. We'll have a second chance effort for the Rangers in the second period when we come back after the break. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Hey guys, Son of Beast here. As we're on the intermission, the New York Rangers is definitely making their comeback switches. Since 2017, in the second round, they lost against the Ottawa Senators that was many used in the making on their 90th anniversary for the New York Rangers. But this wasn't happening at all since they were missed so many postseasons and they have never accomplished it with any of her, her fact and opinion that they were trying to get it over. But in 2020, this one has definitely made an ugly way because the pandemic has hit and with some better reasons of how that happened. It was no wonder why how that one just caught up in the pandemic of the year. But it was nowhere that they were trying to let that one score it big. And this is what's not their day, but they have been definitely playing it for many times during the 1994 to 1995 season as they already made it all the way to the finals. But that moment, in 2014, they made their way to the Stanley Cup Finals to face against the LA Kings, and have lost that one. But in the Conference Finals, since 2022, they both met. Now it's the Tampa Bay Bolts, and they are facing against the New York Rangers in the Eastern Conference Finals. It was no wonder how they got so bumped up, and for so many of our takes in between. It was how that happened already since the Tampa Bay Bolts are really like the better team rivalry over against the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers over the New York Islanders. It's just a quick cadence on its way down and there was no other reason how they've done it before. We'll find out who will have their next goal in a second period. But right now, let's get back in. Back to you, Terry. Welcome back as we're ready to start the second period in Madison Square Garden. And here we go, we're ready to start the second period in New York City. Alright, let's have your take here guys of how they did in the first period recap. They really have done so far and they were really are trying to make a coincidence in between of those two for the New York Rangers and 40 Devil Bay Lightning. They've been playing for harder ones in between. I have a lot of them that make a comfortable range, but that one is not really what they expect to say. But this one was a hard matchup. And they have been definitely been playing a long time already. And just two more years, it will be their 100th anniversary for the New York Rangers in 2026. I have a lot of them at one point. I think Tampa Bay Bolts are really like a hard professional. They're definitely an overrated team. But why would configure that? They've won two times in a row since 2020 after being against the Dallas Stars, and then, in 2021, they've done it again with two times in a row. Two consecutive back-to-back -back mates in between of the Canadians of Montreal and the Tampa Bay Lightnings in each game. Hopefully this might keep on working. 
And what do you know about Veselovsky? Bad except for hitting off air so many times, a better save got a covered up pump quickly, and that was unbelievable moment. Artemi Benarin has a spurred eye ability. He's taking all of his reputation and he's trying to find and look at open paths and trying to have that one clear vision. I'll see what he does if Artemi Benarin gets it in. Big stop in a chain by Veselovsky trying to flick it in there, but it just denied and won't cut it in. Now their teams are set, ready for the face-off. 3-1 to score for Tampa Bay Lightning. And now he'll wait for the New York Rangers as he finds a throw check, save on by Veselovsky. 8.49 left running in the second period. They are trying to get in there with a full pressure in the zone. Now with the way, here's Fox. It blocks a shot as Kucherov will try to keep the puck out of here. And a shot saved off by Shitskogin. Now he finds Lindgren over again to Trojek. Trojek right toward the right wing. And here's a take. And Radius takes the puck away. On his way back again to heaven, he now finds Hegel. Hegel trying to work his way across. And Lindgren will have that puck. Rolls it again to Fox and now finds Panarin. Artemi Panarin trying to fire it up. And here's Lafreniere right toward the corner of the wall. He finds Trocek and now tries to look in the middle. Shoots it, one time and stopped by Veselevsky. Just a great chance here. They're really making this one to play a lot easier. This one is not going to give it a cut chance. And a saving play in inbound as the under siege is ready to do another face off on the wing. The win puts it in the York Rangers. Oh, big save up puts it in by Veselevsky. Now finds it again. The he shoots. Save puts it up. Sherry has that up. Now finding Stamkos. And here's a play. Stamkos shoots. Save up again by Shusterkin. Now back to Brzezinski again to Cooley. Cooley trying to make his way across. Shoots it from the side of the net, and Veselevsky will hold on with 17-10 to go. Now they're ready for the faceoff. Three ones to score still. Tampa Bay wins the faceoff as Radish now finds Kepman with 17 minutes to remain. And they take a big hit out there. What a defensive tackle. Here's JT, here's Keandre Miller. Now finds the advantage at. Two and one opportunity. Denies a shot. Here's the next rebound and take in for the faceoff. Just about only 16.43 left to go in the second. The win puts an end for the Tampa Bay Lightning, since Purvis will have it. On towards his right wing, trying to look for some more room. In between a choppy, moves around, poked it out by the circuit. That was too close to call. Not really what everybody's concerning of. Try to get it in there at the right time. Gakko shoots, trying to win the rebound, he scores! Great play and effort as Capo Gakko brings her team back down by two. That's no way to make good use of it because Capo Capo was trying to let that one go in. He had that one in to try to put the rebound in there. He got to try to blind it out and had that one in to snap it in there. That effortless is putting a big pressure. The Rangers add that one at the back. Now it's a 3 2 game. And the win will put it in for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And they're down by one. And here's the rally shoot. Save off here by Sustirke. Mika Zibanejad tries to get over it again to Kreider. Kreider toward the right wing. Trying to go for a tie. No, Veselovsky said. This one stops the play with just only 15.50 to go. If you're looking for your way and you're waiting for a showtime, this is where it's going to be coming in for you as you got a great one to show you the BFDI and an MA Sandy. Right in between the two new episodes of Season 2 is back, 
The FDI TBOT will be in episode 11, and then finally along with the FDI A in the back half of episode 12 for the back half of Los Angeles, Chicago, and Fort Lauderdale. There's only a couple tickets left, so you don't want to miss that one out before it's gone. And if you already have your tickets, hope you enjoy your show. Way wide, right behind that, and now it goes back to Trojak with over again, fighting the pass to Trojak. The air screws have seen shoots of blocks, and he's trying to put the wind on him. Here comes Forbix. Still keeping the puck alive. Lafreniere loses the puck. He'll drop back again to point. Now the bolts are in a ranger zone. Trying to get it back over again to Panera. Panera trying to hold it in there. And it's too many offended bodies in the way. Here's Nick Paul right toward the corner. Fouls it off on the board and the chain for the loose puck. Give to Radish. In toward a shot. Save here by the circuit. The Panera this one is turning to be a lot much harder than they have. It's not what you're expecting to, but don't let him handle it. The save puts up by Vesilevsky. Lafreniere, and a rebound by Lee Green. Here's Goodrow. The Fox shoots, and it's selected off again to Stamkos and back to Sherry. There's only 14 minutes remaining in the second period. Tall shoot. Oh, hit the cold pokes. That pokes it out of here, and now it's back to Sherry. He gives it again to Kevin. Kevin. And Lynn Grimm will have that puck in if you have to get it to Edstrom. Fires the puck out of here for a net. He will have it again, back to Gunner. Now he finds Chappie. Chappie right toward the left wing. Looks to pass. Fires a soft bait save by Shostokin. Just only 13 20 to go. They're really playing really hard out there. I mean, this is what they all have to do to keep an eye on them. Just a crane sight. I mean, Everybody's going to be playing out there for a while now. I mean, just like they can't handle it off. Do what you think got to do. Rangers got to fight back for it if they get there. The Rangers are in the Bolts territory. Carter gets wiped out. Victor Pittman with the puck here in the boards. The diagonal pass finally again to Eisenhower. He's around finding Sorelli. Shoots it and saves up again. Two times out by the circuit. 12.49 left to go in the second period, trying to handle off with the score. And now they're ready for the face on. Still a lot of time left in the period, 3 2 to score. And now for the win, you're staring back to the little bird. And the puck escapes zone, and we'll have to reset it again to Cernax. Trying to handle it in, Chucky shoots, almost put it out. Chaffee trying to have that first goal in this game seven. Well, he was trying to let that go in there. Remember that happened in game two? This is what happened with the in the overtime. They played the last time already, but they were really trying to battle it off. This is not what they all expected to have in there, but this is what they can't do. If they can't shoot it up right away, they've got to find another room to have that one sell down. It's a big saving up here, and now the face-off wins here for the Tampa Bay Bolts. Barry Bullet will have that puck here with only 12 minutes. And a race it bound, lock it up, now back again to Kreider. The Lightnings are back in the offense as Mote with the puck. Rolls it around, now finding a little burp. Then great again to Kreider. Kreider swipes it out near the blue line as Ready as will have it again to Barry Bullet. Moran Parable to Clifter Hedman again to Glennon. Moves around, saved by the circuit. As you call here for Artemi Panera, he is a famous call for a Panera bread bag, or simply called the bread. They always expected that they love Panera breads. They are really are expected to say they can find some stores around here, your local grocery stores for the for some costs out there. But, as I mentioned, it, he is a Russian professional ice hockey player. On his professional career, over 100 goals. Yes, that's definitely what I was expecting. Our Teddy Panera, he has been really been going in for his better timing. I'm always going to say now, he's been really doing it all over again. And he wants to have that one all in. And he's trying to get some new goals. 
for reaching new fans. And the better writer this is, the starting out great, because at that moment he was really like all of the most professional games and turning out for his bigger timing effort if he gets done for his lifetime. Say puts it up as a circuit. No penalty called on Tampa Bay. Point. Through the middle! Save it in bound by Shisterkin by the blocker. This was really close on the call. Even if you call Artemi Panera, this is what he has done for. Got a place with some moment at a time of it. After the to Cherokee, and then, before the next day, he started playing with the Chicago Blackhawks, and then the Columbus Blue Jackets, and now his current team is with the Rangers. And he scores! Two goals for Braden Point. Now they sent to put up 4 2. Now, watch what happens. Not to fucking put it in for, for a Braden Point. Have that one in there to have a lucky moment. He showed up, and then it happened. That one took it up and right toward the net. That was quite an excellent effort. It's happening right now because the two goals made it in for Braden Point. He ended up with a lot of this great percentage on his inbound. But this was not easy for him. He had tried to look for every day of his goal. And all that time happens, it just won't let him cut it in there if he gets in with the goal in the head moment. He's trying to see what he can do if he does more. As he slides across, here's Kreider. And a save puts up by Veselevsky. Nick Paul with the puck. Stolen by Kreider. Shoots one and it goes off the pad off to Veselevsky. A chance, big save. The Lightning are back in the offense, and now Furbix again to Sherry. Sherry fires the puck around the net. He now finds Gustafsson. Over now to Zabatajad. This is playing again to Schneider. Over toward the right wing, over the back end. This one stopped again by Vasilevsky. Leon trying to go again to Furbix. Off to Stamkos. Santos right over again on the New York Rangers. Shoots it. Save off by the circuit. Looks it again to Chappie. Spins around. Oh, what a big play. Igor Shisterkin's going to hold that puck here. Get ready for an face faceoff. And as the other side of it, as we are looking for Nikita Kucherov, this one is just one play ahead. He is also a Russian ice hockey player. But has done for his right wing, has played it since his 30 years of his contract, and this is what all had happened for playing with the alternative captain and a right winger. Well, it's just happened now because of Nikita Kucherov, after playing with most of his time, the better authentic effort he's just playing in there. He's done a lot of it with his better techniques and his score. He just had that one with a lot of great look of it in between, and they were just making this one feel so fine, so clean, and they're just making this one a great playable for Nikita Kucherov. They all loved him, and after playing with so long, he wants to do it for more and more again. This is the puck as Lindbergh again to Sorelli. And who could know? Nikita Kucherov? He's also noticing that he's trying to find it his way through. If he likes to call him Ku, for sure, like a Kucherofe. <laughs> it's just not, it's not really what they are coming for. No tip from here. And Vasilevsky holds that puck save and tips it over. And now it's seven minutes going by in this second period. You expect it right now at this moment. And it happened right now after playing with his better teams. This is what his uh, current team looks like. The Tampa Bay Bolts of, uh, of the Lightning, he still wants to be here. While well, the legendary are making the contracts out of him, they're trying to make sure if he has that one in there. And joining him since January 2014, that was all of them that he had. But take all for the effort if he wants to have the best player in both. Make them all feel good, make them comfortable, and then hopefully this will happen to be another day with them. Now the win puts up their New York Rangers as Fox will have it again to Panarin. Panarin gives it again to Lindgren. And Lafayette with the puck. Moves it around. Saved off the path by Veselevsky. And Radius will have it again to Cable. Angle right toward the right wing. Smashes across. Cable trying to get it back out again. Adam Fox now finds Lindgren. Over now to Lafayette. Rangers on the attack. 
takes a wipe down and it goes blocked by Pippen. Point with the many bodies in the way and now he has it again to Cagle, again to Kucherov. Shoots saved by Sasuke. 5.50 left to remain in the second period as he gives it off to Kakalo Kako. Wipes him down. Back to Sherry. And again to Steven Samkos. Samkos got a big hit. Miller, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. He's saying, you're going to take the man down for me? That is no way. I don't know what they're expecting now. This is not what their friendly is. That matchup is going to turn it for the worst. Where's Spider with the puck in the wing? The man behind him now finds Miller. Off to Kapo Kako. Here's Kreider. Kreider takes a hit. And then battling along the forwards and now back to Kreider. Shoots inside, scores! Kapo Kako with another goal. That's two in a row. Just realizing after that puck stolen by Kreider, now you give it off to Kapo Kako and that is a one-time effort. You just have to take it in there. After that puck chain, he had that one with open look. He had that one in the middle. He's like already settled in. But that one just races across, wastes his time, and then he had that goal. A big effort. Chris Kreider with the assist. Both two guys, on one of the teams, have two goals. Braden Point and Capo Kako. But we'll find out who will get the next goal in. You've seen game one as uh, Timmy Panera has a side trick with this goal. We'll see if he does, if he gets one in. To put it back in there if he has that winning chance opportunity. Hopefully so. I mean, you guess you could have that one in there. Just the right timing. New York Rangers looking a face off as Miller again to Truba. Truba now finds again to Jimmy Vesey. Toward the right wing. Shoots it. It's blocked by Victor Pippen. Brady is now finding Chappie. Chappie lost the puck as JT Miller. Keandre Miller, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I kept forgetting about the names. Hey, no worries. It's what happens now. Every Miller stay have their same last names. And Brzezinski's got that puck in. Rebound in the puck will be BZ. And a shoots, he scores! Oh, man! Looks like they're all coming back already in the second period. And it's now Jimmy BZ's goal to take a chance. You know what I expected for Jimmy VC. He had this one doing the same thing just like Kapo Kapo. Now watch what happens. That one popped it in, and then he just had that goal. That one straight out of it, and that was really what they expected to do. Have that goal and bound. Now they're ready for the faceoff. Under four minutes to go in the four, second tier period, as Brzezinski and Cooley with the assists. We are under four minutes remaining in a second. Take the lead for the rebound. Locked it up. He's around with the puck. Rebounds it. Again to Headman. Looks to Chappie. Chappie right toward the middle, trying to go for some backhand as Victor Kevin will have it again. Sorelli scores. Now it's two goals for Sorelli. There's two for the Bolts and one for the two goals of the game. They expected now that happened to Sorelli, and that blinded up at a defensive player. He could not see that puck in there. That turned to be a little bit hard and difficulty challenging to find an open look. This is what they don't do. They don't get that one in there with the goal. As now, it's back to a lead, 4-3, 326 to go in the second period. And the win puts up by Mika Zibanejad, and now finds Kapo Gakko. Kako went down as he goes back again to Kucherov. Now finds again the point. Take a little bit of a rush. And he is trying to get point out of here. Said, you're going to go away from me? So Sturkin makes a firing save. And this one gloves it up. 3.05 left to go. And a chance now as we get this thing ready for our faceoff. 5-4 is the lead for the Tampa Bay. And the win will put in for the Rangers. He now finds Kreider again to Snyder. He's right toward the right wing, trying to answer it back. And it's good back pass broken up as Kucherov is to begin to Bagel. Bagel right toward the wing. Shoots it. Fires it wide. Fremix right near the net. And back there, he does it. 
Nick Fairbanks with his first goal on the backhand shot. While they're scoring now, they aren't doing too slow. It seemed like it's not going to be great. You know how powerful that happened? Nick Fairbanks has been doing this. And that one just hit it off the shoulder and it just went right toward him in the net. Now he has a goal for the playoffs. He's got to get going in there. Rangers fans grow silent in the garden. It's, still, it's now a 6 4 game as the Tampa Bay Bolts are trying to work its way across and move on to the second round after a last postseason win against the Maple Leafs. Braden Point now finds Gable. And on the grass away, great chance. It's his third game, it's a save. No quit here, he said. Just have to just keep on fighting again. And Jonathan Quick will be the new replacement if another goal pops in. Tampa Bay wins the faceoff. And Kreider will have that puck in. Towards the right, same again by Vasilevsky. Who stops in, try to get it out. We might have a at save. Andre Vasilevsky is going to hold it with under two minutes to go. And the second period. Fans really want some noise here to get a close game. Six fours to score. Now the win for the New York Rangers. Trying to flick it in for Artemi Panarin, but it's now back again to Lindgren. He fires a shot, went for the side of the net, and is saved off by Vesilevsky. Furbix trying to roll it across in, now finding the pass again to Steven Stamkos. Takes a hit, and it's Paul with the puck. Throw away. Now finds Steve Hahn. The Hahn stops it now as Lafreniere will have the puck in range. Begin to box. New York back to the attacking zone as Panarin gives it again to Lafreniere. On his way down. Here Panarin. It's blocked up. Cherry on his way back to the goal. Last minute remaining in the second period. Trying to get this goal a tough score. 6 5 game. Here's Lindgren. Gives it again to Lafreniere. A chance now for Artemi Panarin to get a goal. Off again to Trocek. Edmund takes a puck away with 40 seconds to go. Rolls it around. Lose that puck. Trocek has it. Fires a shot. Saved by Veselevsky. Under 30 seconds remaining in the second period. They are trying to get this one a closing game in. Try to have some spot in there. I mean, they got to do some a little bit more offensive way. They got to get through here. Here's Victor Edman with the puck. Now off to Kucherov. On a take a chance. DeAndre Malagatruba over again to Brzezinski. Brzezinski loses the puck and that will end the second period here. Two period down, one period to go. 6-4. We'll be right back with you after this. We've come down to the third period. Glad you're having fun with us. It's time to make it happen. And with the winning faceoff for the Lambda Bay Bolts, we are just finalizing game seven and the win to move on to the second round. I have a better takes in between. Now let's find out who will have it. You guys say. Well, they were really have been playing really well, and this is what I just always expected to say. Rangers are doing a lot much harder than they're doing, because they made their way to the postseason all the way, three times in a row for the NHL and EA Sports, but this, every regular season they have been playing it here since 1984-95, and that was really what they expected it, playing it from 1993-94, and they have been really been kicking it up the dust already since they have been trying to play it in there. I think the hat trick is paying for Brandon Point. Oh yeah, I guess that is. Sometimes Nikita Kucherov just saw that Brandon Point finally got his hat trick. That is an error that happened already. Let's watch that one again. You know what happened? He was trying to put in the save here, but Nikita Kucherov, he spotted on and said, that was an error. That happened to be the, the uh, Mimika Sabanajas error, and this is not good. Not turning every day because he took his net in and took a goal. While well, he's finalizing it right now, after seeing that replay in there for so long, he finally got made his way with his third hat trick of a goal for Braden Point. 
So he deserves it to get this one in there. So Nikita Kucherov just really is finalizing it, and he's just noticing that the goal was made here. So they have put it in his own goal, and that was nowhere to put it in there. So that was an error put up here, and Braden Point had to do that. He had to come in. If Nikita Kucherov brings her team in, they're ready to go to the second round. If the New York Rangers are big enough battling attackers, we'll find out if they tie this game up. Back to you guys. Here's Hagel's shot, saved off, big stop by Susterkin. 18.35 left to go in the regulation period. Now it's a 7-4 game. The win puts it in for the Lightning. Keeps the puck out of here, and now Kucherov will have a chance now. Back it over again to the Bolts. And here's Lindgren, trying to go for a chance. For a shot! Oh, I think that Victor Edmund was just swallowing the sprint. He just wanted to stick it in there. That's never been a mess up. If you definitely take over it, that Lindgren was trying to battle in and have the puck racing free. But Victor Edmund says, not this time, not so fast. Don't take too much of it from here. Here's Sherry, the pad save off again by Shesterkin. Sherry with a slip bound, and Panera gives it again to Trocek. Trojek fires the puck around the net. And Edmund will try to deliver it off. Rolls it around, now finding it again to Paul. Nick Ball right toward the middle, finds Stan Coates. Pat Saint puts it up and smoked it out, and Keandre Miller gives it again to Lafreniere. 2 on 1 break. Panera shoots. Save here by Vesilevsky. Off to Panera. Shoots for 2 and go. Vasilevsky stops the puck here with only 17 minutes remaining in the third. You know how easy you can't be? Our team is trying to kick it off right now. And just like in the overtime games, it's just got to be clear enough to get right from here. He's got to try to figure things out if he does more room. Yeah, here's a win. As right now, Miller will have it. It's blocked a shot. And Dehan try to put it in here, right back here away. Now that the Rangers will have it, BZ again to Miller. Cooley with the puck now finding Truda. First shot, rebound! And big up save puts it in. And that one is goes back to Eastbound over again to Sorelli. Go for three to Circuit denies the shot. Wrap around on the back, finds Eastbound. And BZ has it again to Cooley. Dumps the puck into the Volks territory. Tampa Bay is back in the offense, trying to give it over to Braden Point. Braden Point right toward the middle, now finding Chuck B. Shoots, save up again by Shesterkin, now finding BZ. Buck leases out, and his Chappie will try to regroup. Better offense is a better technician, and this is not what they were in a technical, logical, and a better uh, offending place. That one is just turning to be a hard one to take over, but this offense won't kick it up if they have it in there. Big save on the play, it the circuit. Here's the Han, and Kucherov blocked the shot. Kako's got the puck here, right toward the left wing. Finds across to Pryor, and denied by Shesterkin. Veselevsky will have to clear the puck out of there, as Veselevsky has already made a lot of saves over Shesterkin, but he's trying to see if he gets more in the free stars. And a win for Mika Sabanajad. Snyder to Mika Sabanajad backhander. He denies that one. Tampa Bay Bolts are trying to add to its pressure shutdown defense in game seven. Well, they really are a better technique in the offense. They're really trying to pick it up in the defense, but they don't want to leave that one open already. I mean, they got to get that one moving, and this is not what they all expect to do. Play for their uh, curricular at their time. And Snyder will have it over again. Find a pass over again to Kreider. And Kreider makes his way across, lost that puck, and now finds again the Hagel. Hagel trying to battle open the puck, and now finding Kucherov again to Perfix. He's on his way down, right toward the left, right wing. And off again, point shoots, and Saint puts it up by the circuit. Mika Sabanaja trying to kick the puck out of here. And Kapokako delivers it over again to Kreider with 14.15 to go. Toward the middle slot, Dehan's got that puck, finding it again to Perfix. Perfect. 
Wilson in, shoots one, saved by Sisterkin. Schneider with the puck now fighting again to Chris Kreider. Fires across around the net, and Hedman will try to regroup it again. 13.45 left to go in the third. Oh, hello, moment! That took Gustafsson with the big hit on Sherry. Oh, they are just expecting to have this one here. A bigger timing attack is just not what you really done. That is a tougher way to pick a battle out of the Brock. Broken the stick. That's going to have to replace a new one. Oh, they're replacing it. Ever six are costing a little bit easy right now to fix it. But they're really expecting it right now. That Steven Stamkos is really letting the team to get into it. But that one couldn't help. Big save. Oh, that one stayed out of here. Raddy is now finding up and shoot save. What a great chance for Sisterkin trying to extend by four. Teams are set, ready for the faceoff. And the Bolts wins the faceoff. Pad stop made by Sisterkin and holds it up with only 12.47 to go. And the win for Trocek. Finds him going to get into Panarin. Panarin now finds Lafayette. Lafayette trying to get to Trocek for two. No, this one saved again by Vesilevsky. Oh, what an excellent choice here. For Vesilevsky, he's been really like pushing in for a save. I mean, this one is like a coming back and bound. I mean, they're really trying to open it up. Is this going to be a one of the players, or is it just for the Rangers? Well, I wouldn't complain about that. I mean, they would have to do it more than right. If, if, if you're just right, I mean, you just have to let it go on yourself. Finding Glennon, to the right wing. Now finds VZ with the puck, and he, he covers it up, and now finds Fox. As the Rangers of Grand Valley in the Lightning Territory. Cool shot, saved again by Vizilevsky. Rosinski finds Pulley, behind the net, watching from trouble play. But we're now the Fox. Fox gets a swipe out of it, and Morte with the puck. 11.42 to go, finding Barrett Bullock. Fire save! So Sergeant holds it up, here with only 11.35 to go in the third. As the win puts in for Nikita Kucherov. And a shot? No! The circuit puts a save in there with 11 30 to go. The win will put it in as right now Miller will have it. Here's Cooley with the puck. Take a little slap. Now fighting it over on the other side. He's trying to find some more room as ready as will have it. Took the puck away. Now he finds it to get a Brzezinski. Brzezinski's right toward the right wing. And this one shoots it up. And Kucherov takes it again to Radish. Radish right down towards the line. Kucherov with a shot saved by Sisterkin. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 7 4 is the score. Now they're ready to do this one again. The winning face-off for Beacon Zibanejad gives it to New York Rangers as Trubon will now give it to Capo Capo. He's looking to get three this time. So that was saved again by Vesilevsky. Oh, just a better time. And then this is all turned to be Vesilevsky, a favorite save of the night. He's really like playing in the pressure. Now a lot of time left in the period. Still a 7-4 game nearing the midway mark. Point wins the face off. And then right back again to Hagel. 10 very left to go in the third period. Hagel shoots. Saved by the circuit. Good draw going for two. No. This one has been knocking in there as Hagel will have it again to point. Poke it out of here for the goaltender. And now he will race it out of here with the puck zone. Icing's waved off and now he will have it again to point with passing a midway mark. Point stuck up in the corner, 
trying to carefully battle the rebounding puck. As the bad jab will have it over, trying to give it another go of headlock. Tampa Bay Bolts are back in the offense as Hedman will have it with 9.3 to go. Toward the right wing, Miller giving it again to Trubai, now finds it again to Kreider. Kreider making his way through, and Stamkos will have that puck in. Carry it out. Slides it across, now back to Hedman. He's now finding Stamkos with some more room. On his tough way, here's Stamkos. Suits it for the backhand. Big save on the play by Justerkin. Stamkos. Lost that puck as Panera will have to give it over again. 8.50 left to go in the third. Panera now finds Han. Again, finding a look in open room. Passes over now to Paul. Paul spins around, trying to find some more help. And the offense goes to Dijon. Changing the lineup. The pass. Broken up by Panera. Here comes Panera. Slides across the left Lafreniere. No deflection. This one's technically out. As too many bodies in here in the way. Well, they're not just moving a buck out of here. I mean, they're not moving the bands out there. They got to keep on going in there. And there's a lot of problems out there. They need to, to get to some concerns. They have to get there in front of it. If they don't have a right side of it, then they're going to have a hot, tough way to get there. Vasilevsky bolts the puck here with only 7.45 left to go in the third. As the pretty calls, let's stay it over to Tyler. Adam Fox has been doing really well with his tape to tape zone ability. He's looking really good with his confidence, scoring, and his passing, and I hope he might be dipping it in there if he gets more of his time. I'll find out if he has a little run of advantage here to keep the assist alive. Now for the face off, ready to bring things on. Rangers trailing by three. As they put up a win, here's Fox. Fox. Fire and shoots. Saved by Vesilevsky. Full pressure's on. Shoots it. Saved. Vesilevsky holds it with only 7.24 to go in the third. Now they're ready to do some face off in the Bolts territory. Now for the win, here's Fervix. Fervix trying to get it in there. And now it's back again to Cooley, again to Brzezinski. Brzezinski finds it again to Cooley. Shoots one, no chance here. Angle, oh, taking great big hit, and now back to Fox. Here's Cooley for a chance for a goal, it's blocked up. Cooley finds Fox. And finally get a Cooley, shoots and save, puts in by Brzezinski. Off again to Brzezinski. Keeps the puck alive. Getting another full pressure here for the Rangers. He scores! Ryan Lindgren brought their team back down by three. And now back down by two. This is what Ryan Lindgren was trying to put it in there. All for tape to tape goes to Adam Fox. And he's over now finding a pass over to Ryan Lindgren. He passes Nikita Kucherov and passes to Veselevsky. He just had that goal going in. Rangers are trying to have an answer back already and are trailing by two. And now for the win, he gives it again to Lindgren. Here's Chris Kreider. Trying to put it in a cut in motion. No deflection here. Nikita Kucherov loses the puck range. Here's Lindgren. Kreider's already getting to Kreider. Save. Pryor shoots it. Save here by Veselevsky. We're under six minutes remaining in the third as he tries to foul along the board near the blue line. And now Lindgren has it again in the advantage at. Tries to go for some magnetic rules. And this one stopped again by Radish. Battling along the board. Rolls around the net. And now finds Victor Redman. A chance now for a lead. A breakaway chance for Steven Stamkos. Save here by Shesterkin. He stops him with the puck. Over now to the Vika Zibanejad. Watching an offside call as they bring the team back in. Victor Kempen tries to carry the puck out of here and now he finds Steven Stamkos. 
PK, Nick Paul. Suits it. Trying to flick it off here, and now it's back again. On a shot, it's been tipped off by Schneider. But Aaron lifts it up the puck. 4-3 to go in the third. Brady is trying to get the puck inside. And Aaron trying to keep it out. And the rebound puts it up here by Victor Redman. Here's a chance now. Grab a right in. Shoots third game. Makes a save. He's like putting it in there. A better chance right now. He's just keeping his eyes on sight. But it's not always too late when you have a face-off play curriculum motion. Rangers wins the face-off. Laughing here back to Miller with four minutes to go in the third. Trying to get their team on the attack. Jake Keandre Miller shoots plus saved by Vasilevsky. Now we're under four minutes. Still looking for a goal for Rangers. Lots of time and they're ready to get this thing settled in for the next face-off. Face-off win as Radius has that puck. Give again to Victor Hammond again to Hagel. Hagel trying to give over to Point. And a penalty call. Oh man, this is not their day of Tony Panarin. He's been knocking it in there, and it's too much for him. They expected that call. Everybody's having a hard time. A Tony Panarin, he is finished. The Bolts will have a one, one goals on the power play, but they're looking to get two for the next one in the third period. The win will put it up here for the Hammer Bay Bulls. The stamp goes, blocks that shot. And Schumer gives off to, Jay, to Keandre Miller. Finds an open room over again to, to Rempe. Attempting to clear the puck out of here. Victor Hammond now finds Chappie. Chappie to the right wing. Over now to Paul. Shoots one, six. 3.13 left to go in the third. As they're trying to make this close game even with the strength. And now they're ready to do this one number face off. Metal win puts in for the New York Rangers as Krubo will have to give it to Sisterkin to hold the puck in with only nearing a three minute mark. Braden Point wins the faceoff as Hagel will have it. That one's been knocked out. Nikita Kucherov, pass broken up by Edstrom. Edstrom trying to take the puck out of here and Ray is now finding Point. Point again to Kucherov. Now finds Sorelli. Shoots it, plus save by the circuit. 239 left to go in the third. They're trying to get a one point bit of advantage behind, but the Bolts are a bit of a better team looking your way to the second round. And for the win, here's Snyder. 50 seconds for the Bolts power play. 2.30 to go. Trying to go for shorthand, this one's been knocked again by Zalewski. You know, he's been really offended right now. Vesilevsky has been really trying to keep everyone in there for a better, clean look, but that offense has been pretty in there so many times. This one may not be what you're getting for, but this one keeps it here with the save, a better chance. As Strocek plays the face off, 30 seconds for the Bolt power play. Snyder tries to give it over to get to Lindgren. Two minutes to go in the third. Dumps the puck into the Lightning territory. Artemi Panera is ready to get back on the box. Choppy loses one, and Lindgren will try to carry it out. Out of the box will be Artemi Panera as the power play is over. Blocks the shot, and it's now back to Steven Stamkos. You know what they say now, because of Artemi Panera, he's been doing a little too much of his curriculum, and that's why his team, he's definitely have to make a good thank you to the fans, but unfortunately, this has to be the end for it for the New York Rangers. On a shot range, Vesilevsky scores! Chris Kreider bringing the team back down by one. It's a close game now. Here's the 
There's not going to be a quick gear, but they're now going to make it close enough to have this goal. That's for Chris Carter if he doesn't take it in. That backhand just made an excellent work. After that one, it just happened to be a save, but then Chris Kreider had that one with his rebound. It's all what it takes in there, and he had to reach that one out of here at the right timing, and he took it back in there. Excellent look. The Rangers are back down by one. Ready to bring a man advantage on with 1.13 to go. All wins the face off is now ready as will have it. And now their man advantage is on for the New York Rangers with one minute to go. This is it. Do or done. Top of cock will really wanting to take this advantage out. Shift tied up and stopped. What a save by Bezalewski. Making it into this. Not just the way you wanted to do, but this is it. The chance is going to be everything. Paul makes the face off. As the extra skaters are trying to put it in, Steven Stamkos trying to work his way across. Now Panera will bring their team to an extra skater on. Here now a total of impact. Try to get to La Panera and now find Trojan. Goalie, goaltender comes off the bench. And now he finds it again. Keandre Miller Panera in. Try to put it back. Leaves it out of his own. Final seconds for many of the Rangers. And Trocek has it. Back to Miller. Here's Lafreniere. Watch out for the offside. And Lafreniere is super blocked up. And shot. Oh, save. Puts in for Mezalevsky. Unbelievable moment. They are playing to a shocking moment. The wildcard teams are moving on. And that should do. Tampa Bay wins in the Garden. Over to Sturkin. And that was their end of their postseason for the New York Rangers. Well, it's a great way that happens now. Veselevsky's team are ready to bring on the move against to Carolina to play against the Hurricanes. What a great show this is. Great matchup, pretty intense. But I think this next season will do. Hopefully, we'll find out. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. With Terry Cruz along with 12 Play Penn and Tavori Cruz, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for watching, and have a great night. All right, guys, thank you so much. Chris Friday was your third star player in the game as you start things over with the goal to put the wraparound in. The second star goes to Capo Caco with two goals and assist and one four gifts. Only did for once, but he had to kick it out of here. And your first star player of the game, all goes for one, Brandon Point. Three goals and eight hits. As the Tampa Bay Bolts advances to the second round, and they're playing at Carolina at PNC Arena, ready for their next game. With that chance, let's have a look at the final statistics look like. 88 over 74 for total shots and goal for New York Rangers. But it was 80 hits over 62 for Tampa Bay. Six 56 timeout attack over 630 for the New York Rangers. 90 over 89 for the New York Rangers. 42 over 40 was the New York Rangers faceoff win. Then penalty kill was 4 minutes for New York Rangers. With a power play goal only for the New York Rangers with 14 seconds and a power play goal with 2, 19 sec 2 minutes and 19 seconds for the Tampa Bay Bolts. That was 1 and 2 at the moment, but no short-handed goals has made. That was all it took it in. So that ends for the New York Rangers. We'll see them back here for the next season in NHL 25. But the Tampa Bay Bolts are not over yet. They're moving on to the second round since they've seen them playing against the Maple Leafs the last postseason in Game 6, the wild win in overtime. And that was all it did turn it in there for a great game. So that about wraps it up, folks. If you're ready for your next game with the Golden Knights and the Oilers, we got your next game coming up right underway. And then the next first game, will be happening here for round number two on the other side to start things over as we will start the Eastern Conference first, the Bolts versus the Hurricanes, and then the Western Conference will be the Jets facing against the Stars with only two games in between. And then the next two games will be the other side. 
as right now the Golden Knights and the Oilers will have to wait and see the play against the Vancouver Canucks. And the other side of it on a long loan will be the other side of it, the Bruins facing against the Toronto Maple Leafs on the other side. It's going to be a great matchup out there. You'll keep your eyes tuned from here. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. This is Senate Beast. I'll see you all on the other side. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.